Hi, folks. We've been wanting to add a little bit of extra love to your stream for audio visual and not quite sure how. Well, we're going to be talking about Plane 9 and how to set it up in your OBS stream in today's video. Let's get straight to it. Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube series. Here we take a look at anything and everything we can do to help enhance your stream when it comes to either visual or audio or even brand. Um, I'm your stream champ, The Argument Mock. Make sure you're following here on the YouTube side of things. Hit subscribe, that bell icon is amazing. Love the video and it helps us go a long way, of course. Um, if you haven't done so already as well, I've streamed quite often on Twitch. I'll throw my link down below on the, uh, the video here so you can follow me. If you see me live, you're welcome to ask any questions that come up or even just chill out and game with me it's always a fun time um, today we're gonna be like taking a look on how to install and set up plane 9 with OBS studio so we can give it that fresh look of having an audio visualizer if that makes sense so with that said let's get straight into it all right we're over here on the stream PC side of things I'm gonna link this website for us that this is the plane 9 web website one of the best things about this is this is absolutely free which is really, really um, awesome. Um, there's quite a few ways you can set up like a spectrum visualizer for your, your stream. I've been using Play 9 and I think it works really well. It's easy to use um, and it's it, there's quite a few things that I haven't done with it that actually is available. So this one's pretty simple. Um, just go to the homepage, hit download, and there's the download section. The installation runs really easy. Download it, install it, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and we're going to need to go. I I brought mine to my desktop here. Um, I just my shortcut here, but I already have it running in the background. You have all these kind of visuals to pick from. Some of them are just like really cool graphics. Some of them could be used for like a transition. Um, and some of them, if it says spectrum in it, that basically lets us know that it analyzes uh, whatever you have set up for your Windows default sound, um, and, it will, and it will draw a, um, a spectrum based off whatever audio is coming through. So we have a list of playlists over here over on the right. You're going to want to hit plus new playlist. I have one. That's why it says zero. Um, pick a spectrum that makes sense for you. I really like this music waves. I kind of want to do something with it. Um, there's like Spectrum Monster, Spectrum Sparks, anything with Spectrum in its name. Um, the easiest and I think probably the most efficient one most people are using is this Block Spectrum, which I, I use as well. If you click it on the little checkbox here, um, you get this thing turning orange. And when that turns orange while you have that playlist um, highlighted, you, it will go from zero to one. And then all you have to do is kind of click this monitor and you'll get another window to pop up. Now I'm going to, to test it by playing some, some, some background music. This is just like a um, royalty free playlist type thing. So I'm going to leave this a little low. So hopefully it won't overpower my voice, but now we have it basically drawing a, a spectrum analyzer for us. And while that's drawing, we can kind of close play nine itself. We'll just hit X. And we'll leave this kind of running in the background and I'll bring OBS forward. Now I already had one that I was testing. I'm going to just get rid of that guy right there and I'll show you kind of how to, to do this. Okay, so um, you want to go into your sources. You're going to do it to a new source by hitting plus. Now you can do this a couple different ways. If you're having problems with the game capture, you could do this via window capture, but you're going to want to use a black chroma key to get rid of the background. But the easiest and the best way is to use a game capture. And so you can name it whatever you want. Hit OK. And then underneath the mode, go ahead and pull down this, uh, the pull down men menu. We're going to capture a specific window. And then underneath that window, we're going to capture that plane 9. And there it is right there. I'm going to hit OK real fast just to show you what it kind of looks like. You can see that it's not transparent at all, which is kind of what we need to fix. Um, I'm going to leave it kind of mid-center mass. I'm going to right click on it and go into filters. Um, oh no, we'll do that in a second. I'm sorry. Right click and go to properties. <laughs> and then um, on that same window here, you have a few different options. The best thing about having a game capture is it gives us this allow transparency um, check, which we'll go ahead and check that. And I usually, un I don't like to capture the cursor just in case my cursor crosses cr the screen and hit OK. And then right there, you can see it's already transparent. So now we can stretch it, we can move it, we can duplicate it, we can we can crop it. You can make whatever size you want that makes sense for you. 
view. And then if you want to change like the color, you can right click and go into filters and you can add in your sort of effect filters, you know, shadows and displacements and masks, whatever you want. But the easiest one probably will be like a color correction. Um, and with the no color correction, you can do like the hue shift and you can kind of turn it to whatever color that makes sense for your stream. Um, and you can put it wherever you want in front of your assets, behind your assets. Pretty simple and pretty easy after that. Um, you want to make sure that um, that it, it fits your theme and um, it you can play around with it. It's actually quite fun. So with that said, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions, always DM me and be safe out there. Home glitches. Love your face. Thank <laughs> you. 